Hi, I'm Steve Smith from Edgemont Precision Rebuilders. One of the things we do here, of course, is rebuild pneumatic thermostats. Today I'm going to show you the Johnson T400. Very old thermostat, uh, built first or patented first in the 20s, and was discontinued from what I gather uh, around 1959. So here is a T400. There's a couple of things to look for here. One, your branch tap is here. I've already removed the cap that would normally be there. Inside you find a needle valve. In order to get a branch reading, that needs to be open a little bit. I don't know if you can hear any air. There it is. You can barely hear it. But that is your branch tap. However, the first thing you need to do is go into here. This is basically an adjustable orifice, and Johnson tells you to set that with the leak port open at five to six inches of water. So we're going to do that first. I'm going to remove this test cap. You'll see another needle valve in there. And again, it's, it's like an adjustable orifice, an adjustable restrictor. So we've got that out. This uh, adapter has a small screwdriver on it. You'll see O-rings for sealing off against this. There's also a hole in there so we can get a reading. So with my leak port open, I'm going to stick my thumb under there to make sure it stays away from the nozzle. We're going to put this in, into position, and you'll see that's about 9 inches of water. It's this range here that is the one I'm reading. So I'll turn that for you. So I'm just going to dial that down somewhere between 5 and 6. I'd say we're there. So we've got that done. We need to put this cap back on. And 5 to 6 inches of water is going to allow this to build up and bleed down at the correct rate. If you have too much air going through it, it won't bleed and not enough air going through it, you might not be able to close a valve or an actuator off. So we've done that. You see when I turn my temperature down, it builds up. When I turn my temperature up, it bleeds off. Room temperature is about 72 right now. So I need to get in here with the gauge, as we talked about. Open this. I have another gauge adapter for it, which is right here. It screws in. The threads are the same as the casting and the uh, branch cap. Oops. It's kind of a weird angle. But just take your time. Operating great, but here we go. Okay, so we turn to 72. There's a screw under here that you can see. Sometimes this will have a cover on it too, and there'll be a screw that fits here, so you would have to remove that. I've already done that. We're going to go here, we're going to hold it straight as we can, and I'm going to turn it in until I get. About eight pounds on the branch. Now I am heating this up with my hands, so you may have to come back and check it in a few minutes. But there we are at 72 degrees. I turn it down, it builds up. I turn it up, it bleeds off. And that's what you want to say. So that is a Johnson T400 series. This particular one is the T400. Uh, which has the fixed sensitivity on it, and it's proportional thermostat. Uh, these things are built like tanks. I have here uh, the internal parts, and you can see that this is foil, this is white metal, copper foil, copper. There's one piece of neoprene in there. Sometimes it's uh, changed out with this. 
and this body of course is brass. So if someone once said you couldn't clog these with a bird's nest. If you have this old stuff, send it in. Uh, we'll make it like new again. Thank you very much.